there are a few tricks that you can pick up from other draftsmen. And over the years, you'll come up with your own methods to make drawing easier or faster. Um, at one stage of my life, I was sitting in front of the computer for a good 16 hours a day, day in, day out, and one tends to become a little bit tired and wants to work faster, wants eye strain, the, the amount of strain that your eyes take also, it's, it's quite large. So one would want to uh, make one's life as easy as possible. <clears throat> so if your eyes don't have to dart around the screen too much, if you don't have to look down onto the keyboard, then that is good for you. Of course, too little is also bad for you. So a good balance must be struck. But let's see, perhaps, if you want to learn from these tricks that I'm going to show you today, you might become a little bit faster during or while you are drawing. Um, the first is to set your right-click customization within your options. So on the application menu, you'll see that your options are not available to you unless you've actually got a drawing open. So if I open a new drawing over here with the default AutoCAD template, then immediately you will see how the options become available. Clicking on the options, you'll see under user preferences in the tab at the top here, user preferences, there is right click customization. Now by default, Revit installs as it is shown on the screen right now. Let's see how that works. If I draw a line, from a point to a point and I right click it brings up a shortcut menu from that shortcut menu I can press enter and if I want to repeat the command if I right click I have to say repeat line and there I can carry on so each time it will interject using one of these shortcuts menus if you select items at once then right click again you can see the shortcut menu coming up like that and if you're in a command and you right click again it brings up the shortcut menu if you right click and hold right click in nothing happens until you depress it and you get the shortcuts happening again so my personal preference is not to use spacebar or escape or enter to input when I'm done with lines. I use my right hand, my right click button on my mouse. Note however that on some verticals or platforms that are built on top of AutoCAD like Civil 3D, uh, it's not always a good idea for all the options to set the right click to mean enter or repeat command because you might actually want to have those custom shortcuts come up for you so that you can use them but for normal AutoCAD I find the following settings work a lot better for me right click customization command mode if a command is in progress right click means enter edit mode if one or more objects are selected right click means repeat last command and default mode, if no objects are selected, right click means repeat last command. Lastly, turn on time sensitive right click. What does this mean? If I hold the right mouse click button in for a quarter of a second or 250 milliseconds, I'll always have the shortcuts available to me. Let's see how this works. This time I'm going to draw a line from a point to a point and when I right click it's done. It means enter. Now when I right click it means repeat last command. Immediately I can carry on and draw lines. Freeing up one hand entirely and speeding up the process. What if I select a line and I right click? Again it just repeats the last command and if I'm in a command and I right click it enters I find this speeds me up a lot what if I want to have the shortcuts available to me 
Well, I just right click and I hold it for 250 milliseconds and there we go. That is beautiful. So hopefully you'll see that this is going to make a faster draftsman of you in time. I know it's one of the pieces of advice that I've uh, heeded and I have appreciated the most over the years. The second shortcut that I want to deal with, not a shortcut as such, but a, a method, is how to select something. So if you drag a box from left or to right, so from, from left to right, top or bottom, it selects what is inside the box. From right to left, it selects everything that it crosses. Crossing window and an encapsulating window. And over here, clockwise, lasso, and anti-clockwise, lasso. So consider, for instance, the following. There is a line. And there is a line that crosses it. What is the fastest way for me to trim one of these lines? Let's use the TR sub command. Trim, TR, shortcut. And now what most people would do is to either select this line directly, and this takes time. It takes time for you, and you have to focus and concentrate to select that line, and then to click on the other line. My solution is as follows. All I do is I drag a little box across like that. Let me zoom in. There we go. Alright, so if I want to select a line, I use a crossing window to select that line. Doing it fast this time. Much faster, less effort, less eye strain. This is a great tool. This is a great way of selecting items if you want to select them quickly without straining your eyes. Now clearly there's a lot more that you can do, learning some shortcuts, and um, but one last thing, if you look at your so if I draw a line now and I right click and I hold it in for 250 milliseconds I've also got my snap override all right, so shift and right click of course we'll also bring that up or now we know we can right click hold it in for a little while there's snap override and now the other snap overrides to have a look at which I find very useful is from mid between two points and point filters and really what you can do with these point filters are quite interesting you can you can interpret it as grab an ordinate value or a coordinate value from a specific plane if you're in 3d but grab an ordinate value so in other words grab the x value from that point and now it's looking for a y value so if I choose this value over here, it's going to choose the opposite corner of this diagonal. So grab the x value from here and the y value from there. Another one, if you want to say you have a room and you want to find what is the what is the middle of that room, you draw a light fitting, drawing a circle mid between two points here and there and that is the center and the interesting thing let's use a y value up here the interesting thing is that you can combine these you can link these sentences together so I want to draw a line that has its x value halfway between these diagonals of this of the rectangle and with a y value up at this line over here so I can combine those in one. I can say, draw a line, which is grabbing the x value from mid between two points 
and a y value there. So it's halfway in between and it's at the y value that I require. So try and see whether you can use these snap overrides to make your life easier. Also remember the from snap override if you want to draw a line from to see how large this is quickly. That's about 30. So let's suppose you want to draw a line that is 25 along here, 25 up. I'm going to draw a line from this point over here, which is 25 along and 25 up from this point over here. Use the from snap, it's a line, shift right click, from that point away, and now I say at, a relative override, must be a relative override, 25 in the positive x direction and 25 in the positive y direction. That places that line exactly where I want it. Must be careful with this though. You must input the correct coordinates. Well, that's me for today. I hope that you've enjoyed these shortcuts or these tricks that, I'm, that, that might add some, some speed to your drawing and uh, I hope you enjoy using these methods.